Echo Fox, and today we're going to look at another indie game that uh, I've been playing lately, and um, it's essentially an RTS, space RTS. Uh, it was an entrance into the IGF, I think in 2008, it won a couple awards. Uh, it's very cool, obviously. Um, I don't waste my time making videos of games I don't like, so let's get into it, shall we? Um, the graphics options are fairly limited, but it is a nice looking game. Um, at least I think it is. I like I like the graphic style. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so you, there's really only you know a couple settings here. Obviously, you can see all of them. They're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the music is actually pretty good as well, but it's a little loud, so I had to turn it down. Um, okay, so. I don't know too much about the game, so we're just gonna go through it with with each other and uh, and go from there. So let's start a career, and we'll start on the first level again, just to to give you guys a a brief intro to to the game mechanics. Okay. Radar activity has been on the rise lately. Three commercial ships have been lost in the vicinity of Sirius Alpha in the last week. Two police cutters sent to investigate were almost lost. The fleet has been called in to help the local police force deal with the raider threat. You have been assigned to protect the local trade route while Admiral Cherenkov leads a full-scale assault on the private base. Objectives are at least one civilian ship must survive, space station must survive, and of course your ship must survive. Okay, excuse me a second, my, my throat's a little dry. Okay, so let's get started. At first you only start out with uh, a small fleet of just one ship, and then eventually I think it expands and you get more and more ships to control. So here we are. I believe there are 15 ships in total. Um, right now we can only use the Hestia. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. No clue, but it's a really nice battleship here. Um, it's a little description, the workhorse of any fleet. The Hestia Assault Destroyer can bring considerable firepower to bear on targets to its front. It's vulnerable from attacks to the rear. So, um, I guess there's less shielding and armor from the rear. So, generally you want to obviously face your enemy and not uh, turn around and flee. Sort of common sense there. So let's pick that and let's get going. So here we are. Admiral Cherigoff is uh, greeting us here. I I tend to conduct some exercises before going into active combat. You and your crew are blah blah blah. I can't read that fast. We'll start with some maneuvering exercises. This is your ship. Left click on the ship. Okay. So we got our ship here. You'll see to the right um, we have a mini map as well as some uh, controls here. Um, just various controls. You can target. You can. Um, you can face a different direction. Facing uh, certain directions are, are important because, like I said, the ship is vulnerable from attacks from behind. So you can change um, the orientation of the ship so it's facing a certain direction. You can tell it to stop. Uh, deflector device. That's a device. It's sort of like a shield, I guess. And uh, you can select certain parts of the ship to deflect um, different things. Also, you can select individual parts of the ship as well. I think you, if you press Q, you can select uh, individual turrets and you can do this the same with enemy ships you can target um, uh, components on enemy ships so you could take out uh, their guns and turrets and leave them essentially um, defenseless while you destroy the rest of their ship so I'm not sure what he just asked us because I was busy talking but I'm pretty sure he wants us to go here so you just simply right click and we'll go to that waypoint there well done stand by formation 135 mark 9 or 0 okay then this next formation requires you to face a specific direction with your ship selected. Press the F key and then left click left click to issue command face whatever. He essentially he wants us to um, he wants us to face a certain direction. So just waiting to to go through here. I think I can skip that. There we go. So we're gonna go here and then we're gonna use this face to uh, face button I guess I guess that's what it's called so we're gonna face gonna face this direction here simple as that 
Excellent. You may carry on, Captain. I will proceed to lead the attack on the pirates. In the meantime, you should review your combat uh, combat manuals. You may need to test your skills soon in combat. So this is a space station here. I think it's part of a, a mining facility. They're mining um, ores or whatnot, resources from this planet here. And it's our job to protect this uh, mining fleet. Each section can be individually targeted and destroyed by the enemy. You can select individual turrets by holding Q key and left clicking. This is what I was explaining earlier. So I can select individual turrets here and tell them to fire at certain targets. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory. So I didn't know this though. You hold V. Wait a second. Ah, okay. So you hold V, you can click on your turrets, and you can see their their uh, firing uh, radius, I guess, or their fi their field of view. Captain, we have a problem. Astro telemetry shows a rogue asteroid headed towards the trade routes. Okay, so we got some asteroids heading in this direction. So we're going to intercept them and destroy them before they have a chance to to uh, hit these ships here. Apparently, I turned the volume down so low you can't hear it, but... Oh well, I can't really change that in-game, apparently. This is Admiral Chekhov. Pirate fleet is too strong, heading back. Their fleet is retreating in the face of superior pirate forces. A sizable pirate fleet is headed your way. You are to abandon the Sirius Alpha and fall back to the fleet HQ. So essentially, they want me to abandon these defenseless civilians and go back to HQ, but um, I'm not going to do that because I'm a good guy. And I'm going to help defend them because they're defenseless. They're they're not equipped with weapons, so we're going to defend them. So we got incoming uh, space pirates here, and we are going to destroy them. So here we go. I targeted one of these. These are pretty small ships. Um, they're made for um, for boarding more than anything, not combat. So they have no chance against us. So we're just going to wipe them out completely. So we'll make easy work of these guys. Easy enough. But now some more ships are incoming. And now they're even getting getting closer. These are bigger ships, so we gotta be a little careful. Um, I'm gonna target their turrets here. I can just press Q and target individual parts of their ship. So that's what I did there. And then we'll target this guy. Maybe. Here we go. Target their main weapons, and we take them out. It looks like the the mining space facility does have a, a mounted uh, turret, but these um, cargo ships do not. So, and my captain or admiral is saying I'm disobeying direct orders, but that doesn't matter because these guys are still defenseless. So I gotta help them out. Now we have a bigger ship. This is a little a uh, little more heavily armed. So we're gonna attack all the turrets first, just by pressing Q. I'm taking out all these. I don't want him to destroy this this essentially defenseless civilian spaceship here, so I'm just gonna take him out as quickly as we can. Try to disable all his main weapons. There we go. Oh crap. Oh crap, they're right on top of me. Oh. So we're we're a little too <laughs> it's a little too close for comfort for these guys. And there's, here's our buddy, so thankfully they showed up. They're gonna going to give us some assistance here. And, um... Okay. So we took care of the big guy. Let's take care of these small guys here. Looks like some of my shields are taking a bit of damage, but we can handle these guys. We'll be fine. But it looks like we lost, uh, oh wow, we're taking actually considerable damage. First time I played this game, it never happened, so. Maybe commentating and playing at the same time is not a good idea. I'm taking quite a bit of damage, I only have half a ship left here. Um, and now he's he's made it to the end of the screen, I can't see exactly what he's doing here. So my ship's... <laughs> My ship is uh, 
in pretty bad shape. It looks like all my main weapons are destroyed, so I'm just gonna run away like a little little coward. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this game um, it requires a little bit of skill. Um, the first time I played, I never had this problem, so I guess so far this is not a good demonstration of how to play this game. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have better luck in the second mission. The time has come for us to launch a counterattack on the pirates. Given your exemplary pr performance at the Battle of Sirius Alpha, Fleet HQ has picked you to spearhead the assault. You will proceed to Sector 29 and clear the path to the pirate base. You have been given command of additional patrol craft for this mission. Our objectives are to destroy all pirate defenses. At least one ship may survive. Must survive. So now we have a bigger fleet. Um, so we got the Hestia. And then... Um, what else do we have? I don't know. And we have the Proteus, which is um, a smaller craft, but it's more agile. Um, it's got a decent amount of firepower. So hopefully we won't get our ass kicked as much as last time. Okay, so here we go. These are those pretty small pirate ships here. We'll have no problem taking them out. Um, there's quite a few of them though. So now they're telling me about the deflectors. I can use these deflectors. I can put them on different parts of the ship. So that's what I'm going to do. So you see these yellow highlighted areas? These are the uh, these highlighted areas are where the deflector is is protecting. So anyway, let's let's intercept these guys. We're wasting too much time as it is. These guys will we'll make small work of them. They're they're not too much of a threat as long as I don't um, let them shoot me from behind. And um, looks like we have more pirates incoming. So let's take care of these guys as well. So I targeted all his weapons first, so essentially he's defenseless now, so now I can just destroy the rest of his ship. And we can take out the rest of these guys here. This game, um, it reminds me a lot of Space Pirates a little bit. Um, Space Pirates vs. Zom. Um, Space Fighters and Zombies, um, it's pronounced Spaz, it's an indie game that came out, that one actually you have to pay for, it's actually pretty cheap, but this one is completely free, so, it's a free alternative if you are low on cash, and it's quite fun, uh, there's quite a bit of levels from what I've seen, and if you like space strategy and RTS sort of games, you'll like this. And that, um, that's our friend there, so. I can attack him. Eventually we'll get uh, control of bigger ships and we'll have more firepower. So hopefully eventually we'll have a big battle cruiser like this here. Uh oh. They're right on top of me. Oh no, I guess we're getting teleported. So that's uh, mission two. Preparations for the assault on Sirius Alpha pirate base are complete. Without their defense asteroid, defensive asteroid emplacements, we now have a clear route to attack the pirate base. You have been chosen to command our strike force and have been assigned five ships for this mission. Nice. The objective of this mission is simple. Annihilate them. Be warned, however, their toughest and largest ships and defensive platforms are clustered in this asteroid field. They even have gluon bolter platforms that fire swarms of missiles at you. Additionally, the area is prone to meter showers. You will have to be very alert and very quick on your feet out there, Captain. You have been granted access to Helios, Helios Point Defense Destroyers for this mission. These are support ships that are adept at intercepting large amounts of enemy fire. Objectives destroy all ships. At least one ship m must survive. So as we go on, it's, you're going to see more and more RTS um, mechanics. 
We're gonna have more and more multiple ships, so we're gonna have to, to multitask here, which I'm horrible at. I love RTSs, but um, I just I never have the fast enough reflexes to play them. Like StarCraft, I love, but I could never play online because um, I'm not all that good. So we got three ships. No way, five ships. We got one of these, and where's the other one? It's around here somewhere. Am I not seeing it? Okay, there we go. So now we have five ships in total, which is pretty nice. And it looks like our enemies are heavily armed, so... Captain, this is pirate base. You must destroy it to stop enemy reinforcements from arriving. Sounds... Sounds pretty straightforward, but it's probably not going to be that easy. This is a module nano matrix. It repairs nearby ships until you destroy this. The space station will continue repairing itself and nearby ships, so obviously that's our main priority as a target. This is cool. Gulan Bolter platform, it fires a swarm of energy bolts at extreme ranges. Be careful not to get caught in their path. So this is going to be a pretty difficult mission, and I'm probably going to fail the first time. So, But I'm going to go straight for that ship that um, is reinforcing them and repairing them, because obviously that seems like a priority. So we're going to head for this one, and we're going to just well on it here. Um, going to take out its main guns. And wow, we're taking quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage indeed. Maybe this wasn't the best route of attack, but I figured we take this out, we'll be fine. But, um... So we destroyed that ship, so we're, we're good to go. We can't repair their ships anymore. But now we have all these other ships that are bombarding us. And it uh, looks like they have reinforcement. That's not good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. So I'm taking a lot more damage than I ever expected to. We gotta take this ship out fast. So I'm gonna lose that main ship there, but I still have a couple more ships so I should be fine, I hope. This ship is pretty tough, it's, uh, it's not going down quite as easily as I thought it would. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this mission here. <laughs> um, which is not good. Not good at all. This ship um, is heavily armored. It's just not going down. I'm targeting the weapons, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. Come on, die already. This guy is one tough bastard. I think I need to get cl into closer uh, proximity to this guy. So I've lost li literally every ship except for this one, so... If I lose this one, it's game over. Oh, okay. So this is a horrible example of how to play this game. But hopefully you're getting the general idea that it requires a little bit more strategy and finesse than uh, than I um, currently possess. <laughs> and I think we're I think we're gonna end it here because I don't want to embarrass myself anymore. But you get the general idea. It's a space strategy um, space RTS game, and um, I think it's pretty cool. Of course, I just lost so. But I think this will appeal to a lot of people. Um, I do enjoy strategy. And hopefully you guys will get a general sense of the game. And um, go try it out. Download it. It's free. It's got quite a bit of content. Um, this is only, I think, the fourth mission. And if you're into strategy, you'll probably enjoy it a hell of a lot more than I will. Because um, I suck at strategy games, which is odd. Because I'm generally good with strategies. 
having the fast enough reflexes to execute strategies. So. so I hope you enjoyed this video, as crappy as it was, and um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and perhaps some comments below, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.